PSA Collector. What's going on guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to start your own sports card YouTube channel. I'm making it my mission to help you guys start your YouTube channel and become successful like mine to where it's at a side hustle, making money, allowing you guys to put it back in the hobby and put it back in your pockets, okay? You can make money on YouTube as long as you follow the steps that I'm going to be showing you. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification button, and make sure to comment and ask any questions you guys have, okay? Let me know the questions that you have and I'm going to do my best to answer them. I'm going to be uploading more and more videos on how to create a successful sports card YouTube channel. So keep your eyes posted for those, all right? Now, some of you might be asking, why would I want to start a sports card YouTube channel? Simple, guys, because it's a fun way to interact with the trading card community other than going to sports card shops and sports card shows, which for a lot of us uh, is very rare. And if you get good enough, guys, you can eventually start making money to put back into the hobby, buy more cards, buy more supplies buy more boxes and whatever you want really it's a great hobby that can turn into a hustle and make you money and essentially guys it's the future of the hobby i think okay everybody is going to eventually want to have a youtube channel people are going to be able to do trades on youtube uh and just tons of other things so there's no better time to start a youtube channel than today now in this video i'm going to cover the six steps that you need to take in order to start your, your sports card youtube channel today all right so without any further ado guys let's go ahead and jump into this video all right guys step number one the very first thing you, you're going to need is a camera right uh, it doesn't matter what type of camera you use any camera you have will be fine if all you have is a webcam then use that if all you have is a 10 megapixel sony digital camera that you got from christmas from aunt mary in 2010 use that for now okay just use whatever you have for now record 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 and that's all you need to do eventually if you need a better camera you'll get one if you don't have a camera ask somebody ask a family or a friend to borrow one what you want to use is a smartphone okay smartphones for the most part are they have good cameras okay at least 10 megapixels or 12 you have to know somebody who has a camera a smartphone that has a camera on okay and that's going to make it a lot easier to upload your videos to youtube so step one guys get a camera it doesn't really matter which one what matters is that you start uploading your videos today all right if you have an iphone use that okay step number two guys find a tripod you have to have a tripod or something to hold your phone or your camera when recording okay because for the most part you're going to be recording down and you can't put the camera on your on your body or on your head you have to have it stationary which is why i recommend using a uh, a, a gorilla pod i think they're called where the, the legs are bendable just like this with an iphone attachment or a phone attachment attached to the top see it flexes so it can fit it'll be able to fit most phones all right now when you set your camera up guys if you have an iphone you're going to want to use the reverse camera on the back for the best quality and also you're going to want to be able to see the display all right so it's going to be kind of tricky you want to put the display on the back uh facing you just like that that way you can see what you're recording okay and this camera is the one you want to use it has the better quality all right all right so i got it all set up and i'm going to go ahead and hit record all right and boom there you go so now that i have my camera all set up i'm simply going to start talking about whatever cards i'm looking at or opening boxes okay so if i want to talk about this box in 1995 upper deck sb you, you got to position it in the right spot so they can see it but you start pulling the cards out and eventually it, it takes practice guys you're not going to be great at first get a tripod set it up and start practicing all right eventually you'll get better at it so that's what you're going to need you're going to need a phone and a tripod at minimum okay or a camera and a tripod at minimum all right i'm going to link to this all everything i talk about in this video i'm going to link to in the description below that way you guys have easy access to it all right now step number three guys is good lighting now this bright tech light view pro lamp i use to, to light my face but i'm also using the uh the newer softbox lights to light uh the other side of my face if i didn't have those on check it out guys this is how it would look nobody wants to watch a video like this even if i took this and put it like right in front of my face it still looks pretty creepy actually it looks creepy so i use these lights to help make it 
more appealing. All right, you don't people don't want to watch videos of people opening cards when it's dark. Okay, it's hard to see. You got to have great good lighting. Okay, good lighting. Sit around a lamp. Sitting next to a window, perfect. Uh, putting a lamp up or going in your garage with fluorescent lights or in your basement with fluorescent lights, that works great. But if you're in a room and the only light source is an ab above ceiling fan or just an above light, that's the only light source, chances are your video is not gonna have good lighting. You're gonna need, need to uh, add additional lighting by buying lamps like the one I'm gonna link in the description below. $70 for those two lamps, not a bad purchase. They're bigger than I really need, but they do a great job, all right? So set number three, guys, good lighting. What does it look like from the uh, the rear view mirror on my setup? Let's look at it. I'm gonna go over it right now and show you guys, all right? Well, here it is, guys. Here's my setup. Right there, the, the, that lamp, it's a magnifying lamp. It's a Bright Tech Light View Pro attached to the table. Uh, right next to it is the camera mount. It's a, an a, actually a... Uh, a microphone camera mount, camera mount with a, uh, let's see, a cell phone holder attached to it. I put my, that's where my iPhone goes. I put it right in here, and then it shoots overhead shots of whatever I'm talking about down there. And then I have the mic stand with the, uh, I forget what mic that is. I'll link to this mic in the description below, the exact mic I use. Have it uh, right over here, attached to this side of the table. I got the uh, the newer box uh, soft box lights. They came as a kit together. I'll put that in the link as well. They take up a lot of room though, as you guys can see. Look at all that room I have to, uh, they take up. So that's my setup guys, all right? I wanted to show you a, uh, a different view, the, the, uh, the rear view perspective and see, let you guys know that this is how it looks. Step number four, good audio. Now, you don't have to go out and buy an expensive microphone. You don't even have to go out and buy a microphone. For the most part, your camera is gonna have a microphone on it, which, when used properly, provide decent audio. However, you need to make sure that the ceiling fan or outside uh, noise, such as traffic and planes and birds, is non-existent, okay, because that, is gonna interfere with the audio. You need to be recording in a dead silent room. So if you have a computer that's loud and humming and makes a humming noise, don't record next to the computer if you can. Record somewhere else where it's dead silence, okay? So keep that in mind, guys. Audio is very important. Do a couple test runs before you start uploading heavily. If a user clicks away immediately from your video, YouTube will no longer recommend it, okay? So you want people to click on your video, stay engaged, and by doing Having good lighting and good audio, you increase your chances of that happening. So remember that, guys. Make sure there's no ceiling fan on, no background noise going on when you're recording. If you want to increase your audio dramatically, consider buying a microphone. The microphone I'm using, I only paid, I think, like $60 for it, okay? It's a USB mic, connects right to the computer, and it records beautifully, all right? However, if I had to use my iPhone, Mike, it wouldn't be a deal breaker. People would still watch. There are plenty of guys out there with YouTube channels who don't invest in a microphone, but you have to have a decent smartphone with a good mic in it, built-in mic, okay? So keep that in mind. No background noise, and you should be okay. Step number five, talk about relevant topics or answer questions. Now, what do I mean by relevant topics? Simply, what is going on in the hobby today? Talk about Zion rookie cards. Talk about Luka Doncic rookie cards or Juan Soto, Ronald Acuna Jr., uh, any kind of hot topic that's going on, simply make a video of you talking about it and expressing your opinion, okay? That's a great way to get your videos noticed, especially if you if you talk about relevant and interesting facts. If you have relevant stuff to talk about, you're interesting, you're high energy, and you're exciting to watch, okay? Now that's not gonna happen right off the bat, all right? It takes time, patience, and practice in order to achieve that. However, you don't need that right off the bat. Simply make a video on relevant topics or answer questions. One of my very first, actually, my very first video on YouTube was me answering a question. What was the question? How to submit cards to PSA. That's what got me started on YouTube is I answered that question. I then answered a uh, another question on how to do bulk submissions to PSA. Go back and look at how horrible those, that video quality is, that audio quality is, and my energy levels were, were low. 
totally different night and day that's when i started guys i didn't care back then i just got the video up i was answering questions i was helping out so I was more focused on doing that. And those videos are still successful to this day. The like to dislike ratio, the watch time, the analytics, they're all good signs. YouTube continues to show those videos, even though my lighting wasn't great, my audio wasn't great, and my speaking abilities weren't great. They never will, will be. It's always something that you're, everybody constantly has to be working on. Nobody is perfect when they start off on YouTube, guys. I can't stress that enough. It takes tons and tons of practice, tons and tons of patience, but it pays off in the end when you stay persistent, okay? So that's step number five. Talk about relevant topics and talk about, or answer questions. If As long as you find it interesting, as long as you have something to offer, you're gonna do great, okay? And that leads me to step number six, guys. Be patient, be persistent, and be proud. Just like I said in step five, you gotta be patient, persistent, and proud, guys. What do I mean by proud? Do video on what you want to do videos on it's gonna come across as more authentic more genuine all right talk about things that you want to talk about so you got to be proud in your work okay five years from now when you're looking back at your videos you want to be saying yeah I did that I'm proud of it um, you don't want to be embarrassed when you're going to Thanksgiving dinner when you're going to Christmas dinners you want to tell your family hey check out my most recent YouTube video you want to be proud of your work okay now this is not going to happen overnight like I said just like my first very couple like my first 15 20 videos I don't want anybody watching those um, I'm not they're not my best videos that was me learning the steps learning the ropes and even a video I did last week guys I still cringe when I watch it I'm like oh my god I need to delete that video it's the same thing as other youtubers they think the same thing about their videos you're never gonna like your stuff um, so you have to remember that no matter what be proud of your work no no matter how bad it was and stay genuine and stay authentic guys to you do what you want to do do what you like doing and you're gonna win in the long run over time, you're gonna get better and better, all right? So stay persistent, stay patient, and stay proud, guys, all right? So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking the video. I'll see y'all in the next one, all right?